What's up people, I'm gonna show you how to use high quality videos just by using your phone. First of all, Happy New Year to everyone and I hope everyone had a wonderful 2019 and hope everyone spent a lovely Christmas and New Year's Eve because it was great for me to stuff loads of adventures and some traveling and I hope 2020 will be a great year for everyone with better opportunities, with better traveling, better videos and let's see how it goes. So this is Ligia Ramirez and welcome back to my channel or welcome for those first time viewers and today I'm going to show you how to get high quality videos just by using your phone like right now I'm shooting just by using my iPhone XS so basically for new youtubers or for those who love to make videos or for those who are working video projects you just need basically any HD camera any any phone iPhone Android that has an HD quality camera to start shooting so make sure you watch the whole video because I'm giving you some basic tips on how you start your HD quality cameras. You can make also cinematic videos which I will probably gonna post it very soon and try it out to show you guys how I do my edits and tapings just by using my phone. Now let's get back to the topic. So there are various rules that you need to check if you want to film. First of all it's framing, right? Rule number one, never shoot in portrait mode unless it's for stories or snapchat. Always shoot it on landscape. So if you shoot in portrait mode, you'll see the two black bars inside, it doesn't look professional. It's always better to shoot landscape mode if you, if you want to make also like cinematic clips. Rule number two is stability. So you don't want your videos to be very trendy. So make sure if you're like moving around outside or you want some movements on your videos, make sure you have a gimbal. Or if you don't have any, just use a selfie stick, right? It's really handy. It doesn't cost much, so. See, I'm using now my selfie stick as a better stability. So as I said, you don't want any shaky videos. I'd rather have a stable video than shaky. If you just want a stable video, is that you get a tripod. The good thing about a tripod is that you can decide what height you want to shoot, from high to low, low to high, and it keeps on, on staying in that position and the frame that you want. Rule number three, which I guess is the most important, is the lighting. Nowadays, with the new smartphones, you can always shoot really good quality videos, but they always lack of lighting. Especially when it comes dark, nah, just leave it. You gotta buy uh, a selfie ring light or anything that flashes your room or your area. Every time you film or YouTube, even just using your phone, make sure you start facing the light like what I'm facing it right now. But all you need to know is that any natural light is a friend. So, so whenever you get a spot where there's like a really good lighting, you can use your phone. So find the light source in your house because if you shoot against the light, you'll, you'll see like a really strange shadowy light. The quality isn't good. Rule number four is the audio. So right now I'm not using any microphone, but if you do have a microphone for your phone, for your camera, I would suggest a Rode camera that has like a shotgun shape. But right now I'm just letting you know the audio from a phone is actually pretty good even though it's a bit echoey. But if there's nothing that disturbs your voice sound, I think it's perfectly fine. I mean, just make sure there's nothing that disturbs your video. But of course, if the more equipment you get, the better quality you get for your video. So, so make sure on your surroundings there are no distraction noises like phones put in on airplane mode or make sure you, that your neighbor isn't at home or, or make sure that no one is moving around. So your voice will just focus on, on the camera. So the mic installed on the phone focuses only on your voice. 
So rule number five, the setup. Make sure you shoot like a really simple set, like right now I'm shooting on my bedroom and there's no one literally today, so no distractions. You just listen to my voice and that's it. Listen to me next time. So most YouTubers, they like to complicate their backgrounds. They just want to like put more lighting inside, glowing, glowing lights on, on the floor or like decorative stuff depends on what you're talking about which is really good but not too much because sometimes it can be a bit distracting so first of all you gotta choose your setup okay uh, which is next to the light source or else even though you get a blue background but if you don't have any light useless so like my case I'm in my bedroom got the light right next to it because you don't want people focusing on background I mean you want people focusing on, on what you are saying so you want people focusing on you so this is everything you need to know on how to start an HD quality video so make sure you start shooting right now if you want to be a youtuber don't wait and don't buy equipments right away you just need your phone to start and really good content so this is a really good tip and yes you can invest on the tripod you can invest on the lights for like a selfie ring which I, I did buy but I did not use it for this video you can use it a mic I did not use it so I hope my voice did reach to you a bit um, and all of the other equipments that will make better qualities of the videos I'm not saying that you need to buy but I'm saying that you can just use your phone so why not trying it right and with your smartphone you can either shoot like with a face camera so you can see yourself shooting and don't look at yourself and look at the tiny bit camera that's over here I know it's hard but you just need a front face camera for to see like how how your background looks like plus with the proper phone camera which has a better quality but if you shoot from the front camera it will get a better quality of course 